Hey guys, welcome to another video in the Free Sky series. And today's video is all about mixes. Um, I'm going to go through the basic example of setting up this plane. This is my ME163. And I'll go ahead and set it up for a basic Elevon mix. This plane, of course, does not have an elevator. So you need to use your ailerons as your elevator. Um, before we set that up, let's just go ahead and talk about mixes and how they work in Ethos. So I'm going to go to model, which is this over here, and go over to the mixer. So if you guys are familiar with um, Edge GX, uh, this is the mixer page that's on, on Edge GX, but it's also the input page. Um, so it's they combine the input page and a mixer page into one. Okay. So if you look at this, and I set up a basic plane with one aileron, one elevator, one throttle, and one rudder. So there's my channel assigned that it automatically assigned to, and it's, it's just a basic plane. That's what I have set up right now, and that's what I have set up for this model right now. So notice I go elevator, one of my servos is going, I go aileron, the other one's going, and my rudder works, and uh, you can believe me if you want, my th throttle works as well. I'm not going to go ahead and hit it right now. But anyways... If you have a mix that's just one channel controlling one source, that is essentially, in HTX terms, an input. And then if you wanted to mix channels together and do stuff, you could do it on this page as well. But think of a, a, a single mix being one channel. Let's go into the... Um, mix menu. Let's add a mix over here. I just want to show you this, okay? So... If you look over here, free mix will cover the majority of your stuff. Like that has most of the options um, open and it allows you to do almost everything. At the bottom over here, you've got um, like some sort of can mixes. So like rudder to aileron. So if you want to mix some rudder when you turn your aileron. Uh, so as I hit this, it'll also turn my rudder. You can use that. Um, rudder to elevator mix, uh, snap roll, um, which um, and throttle to elevator Throttle to rudder, you've got a bunch of mixes that are canned and pre-set up so that if you want to, you can use those. Uh, personally, generally, I don't use them. Um, I just do everything as a free mix. But at the top of the list over here, you've got a couple of other ones. You've got Ver and Trim. Um, and on top of that, you also have Ailerons, Elevator, Rudder, and Throttle. Now, these ones are important. Aileron, Elevator, Rudder, and Throttle are very important. The reason why those are um, in here is because these mixes have your trim in it. If you set up a free mix, if you delete your your stock setup, or let's just say that you start your, your you start the model wizard, and you say I have no ailerons, and then you come back later and go, oh, I want to add ailerons, and you add it with a free mix. The problem with that, it'll work, but the problem with that is there will not be a trim for that. So the trims are baked into aileron, elevator, rudder, and throttle. So if you want to use um, uh, trims, you want to go ahead and use those. Okay, the other ones on top of the list over here are ver and trim. Trim is how you add a trim to a separate mix. So if you're not using the canned um, aileron, ele uh, elevator, rudder, or throttle, the mix that you will set up will not have a trim. So if I go ahead and um, put that at a, a trim mix as well, then you can go ahead and set up a trim. So for example, T5 and T6, um, I, if I wanted to use those, I can use the trim mix to um, activate those onto a certain, a certain channel. Um, we can get into that later. This video is going to be more focused on um, an Elevon mix, but you can use that for other mixes as well. Um, the VAR is how ethos does global variables so uh, var gives a certain number uh, variable so if a, a specific number so you can assign a specific number to that and use that var um, um, somewhere else so uh, var and trim we'll get into it in a different video i think i did do a little bit of um, um, on the trim mix in, in a different video but um, the var and trim i'll get more in depth in a, in a different video Okay, moving on. Let's get back to the ME163 and set this up. So I set up this plane. This is a basic setup with one, um, when I did the model wizard, um, it's one channel of aileron, one channel of elevator, one channel of rudder, and um, 
the motor um, on uh, throttle. So that's it. It's just a very basic setup. So if I move my aileron, you'll see that that one goes up. And if I move my elevator, that one works as well. So let's go ahead and go back. Now, this is the way that you do this. I'm going to go to ailerons, edit it, and on this pre-canned mix, because remember, I want to use the built-in aileron mix to create this. And the reason why is I want the trim in there. So there's no option for trim. It just has it in there. So let's go ahead and go to aileron over here and see where it says channel count. I'm going to make it two, two channels. Now I'm going to come over here. There's output one is channel one for ailerons, and that's channel one over there moving. So I'm going to go over here to output two that it just created because I changed the channel count to two. And I'm going to go ahead and make that channel two as well. So now ailerons are controlling both. Now don't worry about it being off. We're going to go ahead and adjust that later on. Okay. Now let's move over to elevator. Elevator, when it defined it, has one at the end, channel count one. I'm gonna change that to channel count two again. And output one is going to channel two. And output two, we gotta assign that to channel one. That's it, we just mixed the channels together. Now if I look over here, I've got ailerons moving. We will adjust that. And I've got elevator moving. So it looks like that one of my channels is backwards. I mean, I can do this in a couple of different ways, but considering that when my elevator moves, I need them both to move at the same time and in the same you know, uh, way. And when I do ailerons, I need them to move backwards. Then it looks like if I reverse one of my channels, then it should take care of it. So let's go ahead and do that. I would say, I'm gonna guess, this is my aileron, and if I move that, it's going the correct direction, and my elevator is going backwards on that, so let's go ahead and try, I'm going to guess, and I'm sure I can figure this out, but I'm going to guess. I'm going to go out of here, go to my outputs, doesn't really matter which one, honestly, but let's go ahead and take my, um, aile my channel one and reverse it. So I just went to invert and I inverted it. All right, let's take a look. Elevator's going the right way. And now it looks like, ah, look at that, that's done. So for this particular mix, if I change, I just took channel one, the aileron channel, and I inverted it, and now it looks correct. So there's my aileron going, and there's my elevator going. Okay, anytime you do a mix, you gotta be conscious of one thing, and that's throw. So we, we have a limited servo throw of 100%. So if we go back to that mix, let's go to the aileron mix, for example. We can go 100% one direction or the other, but then when you add more elevator, look what happens. One surface moves, that one doesn't, because you're already at 100%, you're not gonna go any more than that. What you need to do is you need to limit the ailerons and the elevators, the stuff that you're mixing together, you need to limit it so that it that each one of those takes up you know, essentially half of the throw. So what I want to do is I want to go over here. Let's go. So we're in ailerons right now. And the weight, I'm going to change that to 50%. I'm going to go to my elevator and I'm going to change that at it to 50%. Now, if I go full up elevator and I move my aileron, I still have more. So to use that 100%. So when you're setting this up, you can obviously, you can go ahead and on your control throws, if you need more throw, then this 50%, let's just say that this 50% is not enough. And in this particular case, it's more than enough. That's more than um, the amount of throw that I need on this plane. I'll probably limit it even more. But let's just say that you need more, you can mechanically give it more. So 
on the control horn that's on the surface over here, you can go down, um, you know, a hole in it. So not be at the complete end, go down a hole, go to the middle hole, for example, or in the nearest hole to the surface, and that'll give you more throw. Um, one other thing to be, to be conscious of is the amount that you need. So for example, if I required 10 millimeter of elevator, but I need, um, say, more aileron, so I need 20 millimeters of aileron, then you can change this around. You can go maybe 75% on the aileron and 25% on the elevator. So you just want to go ahead and add up to 100%. So there it is. That's done, and that's done, and look at that. I've got full control and full, and now I'm using the full throw. Now, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and add the same stuff that you normally add. So, for example, on my the, right now I'm on my elevator page. I've got my elevator, and if I wanted to, I can come over here and I can add the same thing. Here's my expo um, that I normally do on, on planes, and I do about a 30% expo as my baseline, and then after that I change it, like depending on how the plane flies. On your weights, you can um, add a new weight. So now, for example, if 50% is my maximum, I can now go over here, uh, maybe by a switch, and make it 40%. Add a new weight. Let's go another switch. And, oops, didn't hit that. Over there. And I could make this, this is basic, 30%. So now on my elevator, I've got my low rate, medium rate, high rate, and you can do the same thing for your, for your aileron as well. So just remember that when you set up a mix, all I did was I used on the elevator mix, I just assigned another channel to it and put the aileron channel on it. On the aileron side, I did the exact opposite. I just assigned another channel and put the elevator channel, channel two on it. Uh, so this is a basic Elevon mix and look at that, works beautifully. Okay guys, for an example, let's do another mix. Let's add another mix to this. So, um, I don't know, let's just say rudder. I want my rudder stick to also give me a bit of aileron. So let's go ahead and add that on here. So for to do that, I want to add another line over here. Let's do a free mix, last position. Let's go ahead and call it Rud to Ail, Aileron. Source. What do I what do I want to hit or what am I controlling? I'm using my stick over here, my rudder stick. And if I go to the bottom, I want it to control my aileron. So when I do that, it moves that one aileron. So the only thing I have to add to this is another channel because remember these are split. So let's go ahead and add another channel to this, which is channel count two. And I also want to control my elevator channel. There it is. Now, if I look over here, this is turning left. That one's going up. This one should go down. So that's the second channel. All we need to do is come down here and reverse it. So that's channel two, reverse. There you go. So say on this particular mix, and the reason why I made this a separate line is um, I, wanna, I wanna be able to come over here and I wanna say, just give it a little bit of aileron when I apply rudder. Now again, this is a mix that I would not do. I'm just showing you how to do mixes. So let's just say 10%. So let's go ahead and bring this down to 10%. And now it just barely moves. And that's how you do a mix. Very simple. You can apply this to anything. You want to do a throttle to um, elevator mix where when you give a throttle, it brings up and down your elevator accordingly. Um, you do the exact same thing.
throttle. The stick is your source. And the channel that you want to control with that is channel 2, which is elevator. So throttle to elevator mix. Very, very simple. So um, again, if this was a throttle mix, throttle to elevator mix, my source would be, instead of rudder, it would be the throttle stick. So I'd go over there and then I move the stick. And then I would control the channel elevator. That's it. And that would be channel two. Um, that's it. That's basic mixes. Um, we'll get into trims and um, vari uh, variables in another video. Um, but I think this makes sense. If you have any questions, please go ahead and comment. Uh, like and subscribe to help me out. But um, if there are any questions, I'm very willing to answer them. But mixes are simple. They're not complicated. All they are is to what you're controlling. So I'm going to control this. And what surface do you want it to control? This is the source. This is the channel. And that's it. And then after that, you can adjust your weights to give it more or less. In this case, my rudder controls my aileron as well as my elevator. But it only controls a little bit. That controls that. So on these surfaces, I have three different controls for it. I've got elevator, I've got aileron, and I've got rudder. And again, that rudder mix I, I would not use. I'm just uh, showing that as an example. Um, that's it, guys. If you do have any questions, um, please let me know, and um, I will answer them. But for an elevon mix, very, very basic and simple. All right, guys, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please comment. Um, if you can, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.